guys, so today I'm going to film an eye makeup look that I found on Instagram. Um, we're all quarantined right now, and I'm really bored, and I don't really leave the house, and there's nothing to do, so I decided just to play with some makeup and have some fun. I already did my face makeup um, because I'm just going to focus mostly on the eyes. I didn't do like my highlight or my bronzer yet, so I'll show you that as well, but I'm just mostly going to focus on the eyes, and I haven't practiced this look. I just saw it on Instagram, like I said, and I didn't really look at my palette to see what colors went well, but I'm just going to go for it. So for this look I'm doing, it has a really sharp um, point to it. Um, it's a little dusted out, but I want to make sure that I keep that same line within the process. So I'm going to use tape to tape off the corners of my eyes so it will make a line. Um, I used to do this a lot a few years ago just because it's like so easy and it cuts your makeup time like by a lot. So I'm just going to do that for this as well so it's like kind of like an easier look. I'm just going to match it up kind of with my eyebrow bone so from the corner of my eye to my eyebrow, I'm going to tape that. Make sure it's down. You want to make sure that they're even. So, kind of like to match it up. Okay. So this is just going to contain the eyeshadow within my eye, so we don't make a mess. Okay, so now I'm going to start off with a neutral base. I'm going to use this little brush. I don't know what any brushes names are. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to start off with like a nudish color, I think. Um, I think we'll do... My palettes are all super dirty too, so don't judge me. But I think I'm going to start off with this one. And kind of take it from there. And as you see, I'm just rubbing this all over my eye. Um, it's a very light like color so it like blends in very well with my skin so I'm just gonna kind of be like rough with it I'm not gonna be super careful I'm going to take an orange and I'm just going to kind of focus that one on the inner corner and then I'm gonna um, blend it out So I don't want this color to be like super bright. I want it to be a little bit more muted. So right now it's really bright. So I'm going to take probably the same color I used for the base and mix that in with this so I can blend it out a little bit more. I'm going to use this brush to blend it thicker. I'm just going to kind of carry that into the middle of my eye. I want it to be like a really easy transition from the orange to the rest of the color of my eye. Okay. I always make really weird faces too when I do makeup. And I've never like really recorded myself doing makeup. So this is like really awkward and I don't know where to be in the camera. Like, I don't know. Well, this is, this works. Okay, whatever. So I'm going to start with the orange in the corner of my eye and just kind of blend it out towards the wing part. And 
And I'm just going to use a little bit of that orange, not too much. And then again, I'm going to take this brush that I used in the beginning and I'm going to blend that out just kind of everywhere. Keep in mind, I don't really know what I'm doing, so this is just for funsies. We're just playing, having some fun. Okay, so from there I'm going to start building up the wing part and so since we have this tape it's really nice because you can kind of be sloppy and it still turns out great. So I'm going to take a deeper brown color to start with and just kind of blend that into the liner area. Use this brush. I'm just gonna start kind of carrying that out. So now that I have those bases down, I'm going to take a black and I'm going to again line it, but I'm going to be more careful about this one. I'm going to act like it's an actual liner, so I'm going to do it kind of more precise and not smudge it out as much all over. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to take a smaller brush so I can be a little bit more direct, a little smaller. And I'm just going to kind of follow the tape for this one and then put it right in the corner of my eye and not do much else with it. I'm really into like smoked out liner looks, which this kind of is, or like a smoked out shadow. Um, I used to do them all the time, now I just kind of stick with like one basic eye look. but. I really like these and using the tape for me is essential in making these looks. A lot of people are talented and don't have to use the tape, but I do because I don't really know what I'm doing. So now that we got it right there, I'm going to take a more angled brush and I'm going to line a little bit of just my eye line with the left. So now that that's done, I'm going to add the purple, and for this, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the color Rave, and this, I love this. I wear this all the time, just like the liner and no eyeshadow or anything. It's like this really awesome pigment that's like a gel, and it stays, like it dries so amazingly and does not budge, and it's just the perfect for creating fun eye looks. I'm just going to dab this and I'm going to go in with this very small angle brush. All my brushes are from Morphe. Okay, and we're just going to put this on the lash line and just kind of make like a winged eyeliner look out of it and follow what we've already made. So I just carried that down on the entire lash line. I'm going to do some blending work on it, but right now just make like a full winged eyeliner on it. I'm going to do the same for the other eye. So now I finished the purple and I'm going to go back with the 
dark brown and I'm going to start just smudging some of that around the purple to make the purple blend in with the rest of the eye. I'm going to take some of the dark brown mixed with the black and just kind of move it forward into the eye a little bit more just so we can create more of a dramatic look. So now that I'm done with all the wing part, I'm going to take out, take off the tape and you're going to see the dramatic line. And from there, um, we're just going to clean that up. You can use like a Q-tip and then just conceal it. But that's the line that it makes and that's so much easier than trying to do it yourself and then concealing everything. This is just a quicker way to create a wing. So I'm just going to clean up this eye with a Q-tip. Um, I dipped it in a little bit of makeup remover and I got some on my face over here. And I also, um, I want to smudge out the line a little bit because I don't want it to be so sharp and precise. So I am going to smudge it out a little bit with just one of the brushes I used. I don't know what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to put some concealer and I already used concealer earlier so I'm just going to dab a little bit under to conceal any shadow that came down. I like to use my finger first because I just feel like it really gets in there. And then I'm going to come back with a sponge. So for the corner of my eye, I kind of want like that pop of orange now to be a little bit greater. So I'm going to go back with a bright orange and just slightly dab it on. And now I'm going to come in with a highlight and use that for the corners. I'm going to take that up just a little bit. I kind of want some in the middle here. So I'm just going to dab a little bit. So for under my eye, I think I'm going to use that same purple um, in the very corner or the middle of under my eye. I'm going to try that out and see how that looks and see if I like it. So I'm just going to take this angled brush and do that. I'm going to put it right underneath. And I'm going to blend that out with... Hmm, I don't know what color. Maybe just like more of like a neutral...
I'm just going to clean up the underneath of my eye a little bit because it's looking a little dark. And I don't really want it to be. I think I'm going to carry a little bit of the highlight down underneath my eye just to kind of brighten it up. It won't make like a huge difference, but I just need something under my eye, but I don't want anything too dark. So I'm gonna take this brush, this kind of brush underneath my eye. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and kind of just set underneath my eye. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer. Usually I do this before my eye makeup. I just don't know why I didn't, but. I'm just gonna take it kind of at my cheekbone, obviously. Kind of bring it up. And I'm gonna go in with that thicker brush again to take off my powder so I can put my highlight on. And I don't use blush normally. I just, my face gets really red a lot and I don't like using blush because it just kind of accentuates it. Maybe once I learn how to use it better, I'll use it, but for now I can't. I'm just using this to kind of carve out my cheekbones with the powder. And then I'll brush that away as well in a minute. For bronzer, I just use this Hoola bronzer. And then for highlight, I'm going to use this Kylie Cosmetics Cheers Darling. And it's a really, just pretty highlight. And I don't like to have a highlight brush right now, so I just use this super random brush. But, um, so I just kind of dab it in. And I take it from my cheeks all the way up on my forehead a little bit, underneath my brow bone. The tip of the nose, bridge of the nose. Okay. Now I'm gonna blend out my cheek. Okay, now for mascara. My mascara routine changes a lot, I feel like, but right now I'm using, I think it's Lancome mascara. Um, but I like to curl my lashes first. And then lately I've been using primer for my mascara. Kind of been liking it. So it's just like a white primer. Cute. I'm like nervous to wash this back and see my facial expressions because I feel like it's crazy. Like I, it will be interesting to see how I look when I do my makeup. 
Not with mascara. Just kind of like to do an initial. I like switch back and forth a lot. So for the top mascara, I use that black Lancome. But for the bottom lashes, I'm going to use the brown mascara because I feel like that's just a little bit more natural and I just kind of like brown better on the bottom. And I'm going to use the Benefit one. Like you can't tell that it's brown, it just looks like it's your normal lashes almost. Okay, now that I'm done with all my face makeup, I'm just going to spray it with a setting spray. Okay, and that's it for this makeup look. Yeah, I hope you liked it.